Welcome to the Moving Pictures Studio, Anton, Finola, Drake, Charlie and Felicity. Wow, big gang in today. So uh, firstly, congratulations, the buzz on the film and can we announce the, the sale? So please tell us, Drake, sure, what's happened to the film. Sure, the film is going to be distributed by Paramount later this year and we're very excited about it. Talk about the speed of turnaround on this film from like, you know, you've, we've seen you here the last two years, firstly at Slamdance and Sundance last year with uh, Douchebag. A lot of people wanted to just print D-Bag and there was all that sort of stuff. But, yeah. um, and then turning around, doing this film within the year, bringing it back and having this sort of a, a welcome for it. How's that been in your, like, just in your head? It's overwhelming. I mean, just to even think that, that nine months ago, none of this movie even existed. It wasn't even on paper, let alone in Paramount's hands. I mean, it's incredible just to think about all the hard work that everyone poured into the film over the, over the course of the year. I mean, because everyone poured their hearts into it, we were able to do what normally would, would have to take three years. We were able to do it in nine months. Yeah, it's incredible. Anton, what, when you first met Drake, what was that like? Did he bring stuff with him for you to look over? Or? Yeah, he brought all this weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, I brought oranges and like apple. Vibrator. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like, look, a part of the film I was like, Anton, is, I want you to, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, we met because I know Jonathan Schwartz, who's a, you know, Great. Jake's collaborator. Uh, did I say Jake's? Jake's. Jake's collaborator. Ashton. Um, Ashton Yeltsin. Ashton. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ashton and then he's, he's a, 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 a mutual friend, and I've known Jonathan for like five years or something. And and, and uh, he's a really great producer. And yeah, good yeah. friend, great producer, great friend, good producer. Um, good collaborator. Yeah, good collaborator. Yeah. Really good. Uh, anyway, so we met, and he said, you know, you should meet Drake. And I said, okay. And then I met Drake. <laughs> And then I was leaving town and Drake gave me the script. Like I met him in, in um, a Starbucks think, like, yeah, and he was like, here, check it out. Yeah, check it out. And I read it right away and I was like, I'm in, let's do this. And, uh, and then he was like, actually, I'm just kidding. I <laughs> <laughs> Felicity, what was it like working in this way where, where so much was left to you guys, you know, in rehearsal and then on set to kind of just create? I think it's a very rare opportunity to get to work like this. Obviously, most things there's there's a script and there's dialogue, and, and you have to hit certain points, and and there's a structure. And this was very freeing, and I think we all found it just an incredible experience that Drake managed to create an environment where we could just see what happened in the moment without too much. Um, pre-planning and it being too contrived. There's not too many ums and ahs in Shakespeare. No, exactly. <laughs> if you um and ah, you lost it. <laughs> and, and so for you, like, I mean, with the background, you know, obviously your mum was involved in improv and, um, and you've been around that scene for a while. Sure, yeah. To be able to mirror that, not with broad comedy, but with <laughs> subtle, drama. Yeah, but with drama and yeah. moments of humour, of course. Um, was, that, was that just a unique experiment for you? Or like... Or, or like Not how did that way. decision come about? I mean, just, just, just because I think that, that, you know, it's hard to really get organic, really, really genuinely organic performances unless people are talking on top of each other and it's totally not re rehearsed and it just kind of is happening. But the key is to find actors that can really embrace it and execute it and, and these actors absolutely embraced it and made it happen. Yeah. And embraced it but did not execute it. Yeah. <laughs> well, he didn't, but these guys did. Yeah. <laughs>